Hi YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video will be about my favourite products for last month, that's March 2015. Um, I started my Instagram account, I think in March or certainly the end of February, and it's been quite interesting um, looking back as I was thinking what I was going to put in this video because I have kind of tended to take a few photographs of bits of makeup that I was wearing on the day or more particularly nail polishes. I mean not every day because I forget all the time and uh, it's quite interesting doing that makes me realise that often when I'm doing these videos at the end of a month or beginning of a new month looking back at the previous month I actually tend to only remember the things that I've been using towards the end of the month. It is very easy to forget um, what your favourites at the beginning of a month are. And my feeling is that last month was um, a month when I didn't use any products really regularly. And that wasn't because I didn't like any of them. I suppose I was just... Um, not experimenting a great deal with my makeup because of time and various other constraints and therefore just um, dotting between lots of tried and trusted old favourites. So the knock-on effect of that is I'm afraid several of the things that I'm mentioning um, may not be available to purchase now in the shops. They're not new products in that sense. Um, although, you know, we all know you can often get these things on eBay. So I apologise for that because I often think the value of these videos is a bit limited if um, people aren't talking about products you can go out and buy if you like the look of them. But that's the way it is. Uh, one product that you can still go out and buy, in fact I don't think it's even launched in America yet, is the By Terry um, Eye Designer Palette and this one is in Smoky Nude and uh, I did a short video um, just showing it off when I first got it. I like it uh, and I have been using it um, quite a bit even though it looks remarkably untouched. I haven't been using this brush, uh, it's a hopeless brush. Um, it, you know, it looks quite nice quality, but this is way too soft to pick up these shadows, which are very, very soft indeed. So uh, you need a decent brush, or frankly, even your fingers would be better than the one supplied. But brush aside, um, I think it's a really good quality palette. Um, I think I've probably made it clear in previous um, videos that I'm not a huge fan of large palettes. I tend to like... Um, a quad or a duo. I just think that they're easier for me as a non-professional um, makeup person to use and I almost get spoilt for choice when there are too many colours. Uh, I understand the attraction of getting a lot of bang for your buck and having lots of options in one palette but to be honest I'd rather have <laughs> more palettes um, each with fewer options so I can just pull out one on any given day and on that particular day not be faced with too many options but that's my personal preference. Um, as multi-colour palettes go, um, this one is ideal for me because although um, you've got your 10 colours there, it's not a huge palette. You can kind of see by the size of my hand next to it. It could actually go in your handbag, which most larger palettes couldn't. It's quite light and it's certainly ideal for travel. Um, the other thing that I like about it, obviously, is it's very neutral. I've also um, made it fairly clear in previous videos, I'm not a huge fan of the, um, you know, Sainted Urban Decay naked palettes, uh, but I much prefer the quality of these shadows. That said, this palette will not be for everyone. First of all, uh, obviously, it's dominated by cool um, neutrals, which is my preference, but those who like um, warmer shades are not going to love this. Secondly, the shadows are very, very soft, and I think that makes them potentially harder to work with. Um, they do tend a bit to blend into each other, and they don't work well with layering, um, which some of the um, Japanese, Korean um, shadows in particular do, but also some of the premium brands like um, Tom Ford, for example, you can um, 
use and indeed some of them are designed to be used on top of each other. Um, I think this is a wet and dry palette. Uh, I should have looked that up. I haven't used it wet. Um, I'm not sure about that. I'll put it in the info bar when I've actually looked it up. Um, the other thing that is potentially a problem with this is the colours are not hugely pigmented. Um, and I quite like that because it makes them more forgiving to apply. Uh, that one looks quite pigmented, having said that. But um, the other factor is that they're quite um, light shades, some of them, so they're not going to work as well um, on darker complexions. But what I like about it is the consistency. These are buttery soft. I find them easy to work with, and they just give a very polished, uh, neutral look. I know that um, some people have found that they don't last very well, um, and that includes people who um, whose opinion generally is the same as my own when we use the same products. Uh, I haven't found that. I have to say, I don't use eye primers um, per se. I tend to use an eye cream as a base. And I found that these last very well indeed uh, with my eye cream base. And I have quite oily lids, but uh, I have to say it's been an issue for some people. But I've enjoyed using this, uh, and uh, that's definitely one of my favourites from last month. Um, I've been using a lot of different lip products. Two in particular stick out. Um, one is one of the um, Lips and Boys that I've been using more consistently than any of the others, and it's John. Um, you can see I've actually made some impression on it. It's just um, a really, really pretty pinky red, um, and it has micro glitter in it, which you'd think, ooh, um, I don't like that. But actually, it's tremendously brightening on my skin tone. Uh, and yet yeah, quite forgiving. Um, so I really, really like that one. And I definitely, it's one of my favourites. I've also been enjoying Rocking the Red Lip this month. Um, and my favourite red has been this Kiss Kiss, which is Love Kiss. I think it was limited edition um, last Christmas. But I mean, I got mine relatively recently. So they are around. Uh, I wasn't a great fan of the other Kiss Kiss ones I got from the spring range but this one I really like so you know a really tomato be red but it's quite moisturizing and uh, easy to wear so I've been loving that one and I do like the packaging very tactile um, because I've been wearing the bright lips uh, I've been wearing a whole variety of single um, neutral shades not just from the by Terry palette and I'm afraid this is one that was a limited edition from MAC years ago um, the Corin Ro Ropefield um, collection but I just thought I'd show you because I have been using it a lot I love these two colours I mean this is a fairly ordinary um, highlight uh, in a corner but I really really like this um, slightly shiny um what would you call that it's not really a taupe this one down here is a taupe I don't know a sort of um caramel um very very pretty on the eye and um I think it was called Sahara dust or cactus cactus thorn I think that one must have been yeah um I don't think you can get it singly in MAC, but I mean, there must be similar shades there. And I just really like doing that with my blue-grey eyes and a red lip. Just really a nice, uh, simple, polished look. Um, so enjoying that. Cheek products, again, I've been chopping and changing with various products, but I have to say the one I keep coming back to is uh, one, again, that a lot of people weren't that keen on. Everybody loved the design. I've been using it a lot. The design's still there. This is from the Chanel um, Spring Collection, the Camellias of something or other. No, Jardin de Chanel, de Chanel uh, Blush Camellia Rose. A lot of people didn't find this pigmented enough, but I really do find it absolutely fine for my uh, skin tone. And uh, it's cool, which is what I like. Um, cool toned uh, rather than trendy. And so that's probably my favourite of a uh, number of blushes I've been using. Again, I've been using lots of different foundations and BB creams, really trying to use things up because I've got so many opened. But the one I keep going back to last month was the Meteorites Baby Glow. This is still available. 
uh, light coverage, but very moisturising, very glowy, um, just nice for both a casual look and uh, a more done up look. I do recommend um, that product. Enjoying my fragrances, I had this neon candle uh, called Happiness, um, which is white neroli, mimosa and lemon. I had it in the bedroom and burnt it a few times, really, really liked it. But then I kept smelling this gorgeous neroli scent and not remembering um, where it was coming from. But, you know, even unlit, I was getting a blast of it. And that really motivated me to go out and purchase Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino, which is just a straight neroli uh, unisex cologne um, but I've been wearing that uh, it's a real summer fragrance and it sure isn't summer here yet we've had some quite bad weather but I've really really been enjoying this one just at not sophisticated not complex but incredibly uplifting um, cologne and I've also been really loving um, some hand cream from Tocca. You can get this in Space NK here in the UK. Um, I think they're an American brand. And this is the Stella one, which is supposed to be Italian blood orange. You know I'm fond of orange. I have to say, when I smell it, I don't immediately think, ooh, citrus, orange. Um, it's slightly floral, um, but a really, really nice fragrance. I mean, fragrance is a very personal thing to me, and I guess I am getting some of the citrus there with a bit of floral mixed in. And it's quite a nice um, lotion-y two cream consistency. So nice hand cream. Um, they're nine pounds. I guess that's quite expensive for a hand cream, but you know, not bad for a, a little treat that's really going to um, cheer you up if you like that fragrance. Um, and the other thing I've been enjoying is this Clarins... Um, alcohol-free uh, extra comfort toning lotion. Um, I do drift back and forth to Clarins. I've used them on and off for many years. I think the products are um, very serviceable indeed as skincare products that are moderately priced. I don't use any of the products that regularly now, although I have done in the past. And we've also been told, haven't we, that we don't really need toners anymore. I was brought up in the generation that cleansed, toned, moisturised. Um, and I don't generally use the toner now. There are so many other things to use. But my skin's been playing up a little bit recently. I'll be talking about some of the skincare products I've been trying probably in another video. But uh, I have actually found this after cleansing and before moisturising and in the morning freshening up has just made my skin feel that bit more comfortable and again it's a really nice fragrance so it's definitely a luxury that you don't need for your skincare routine but particularly if your skin is drier and playing up a little bit um, you know I think it's a, a nice one and uh, I've definitely enjoyed it this month um, I've been using it for more than a month don't think that I've used that much up just in March but I've been using it particularly then so um, that's it for my slightly bitty favourites. I'm really looking forward to the new summer launches, which can't be long off now. The rest of Europe seem to have got quite a few of them already. We, of course, uh, are just waiting on tender hooks really till the end of April, beginning of May. But I can't wait. And then hopefully I'll have some more exciting products um, to show you and to try out. Until then, I hope everyone has a really happy Easter. Bye for now.